Hi crafters, it's Karen. I know it's been weeks and weeks and weeks since I've made a video and I'm sorry about that. Um, I've been busy just like everybody else with the holidays. Um, everybody here is fine. Um, let's see, Joe had another surgery but he's doing good now and he's back, back to work. Um, you know, I had that same cold that everybody else had um, I'm still on antibiotics, but I'm doing, I'm doing much better now. Um, my mother is, my mother's doing well. Um, you know, she's just getting older, and she, and you know, her eyesight isn't well. She's deaf. Um, you know, she just requires more attention. So that does take up um, a lot more of my time. Um, I'm so blessed to have her right down the street. So. Um, yeah, just nothing in particular, but everything in general has, you know, kept me from my scrap room and from you guys. I did do some scrapbooking over the um, Christmas. I did remember I had wanted to do several layouts using the Christmas paper that I had pulled, and I did. I created, I don't know, at least seven layouts, Christmas layouts, and I, I never had the time to share them, so, and I know it's sharing layouts that are already completed um, people don't enjoy that as much as watching someone create a layout so um yeah I never I never shared them however um, I did get the layouts create done that I wanted to get done and I did create a Christmas mini album which I have yet to share and I'm going to share it because it came out super cute so I did do the crafting that I had wanted to do um, I created a wreath. I did post that on Facebook. So um, I have been in and out of in and out of my scrap room, you know, as time allowed and as Mojo hit me. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I have a collective haul that I haven't done any real shopping. You know, what I have here is um, re the result of gift cards. <laughs> um, so I. I have just taken a second look at my stash and I really don't need to go shopping. If I I'm I can go through a particular drawer or so, or um you know some paper pads that I haven't looked at in a while and it and to me it's like a whole new paper pad, you know, to enjoy because you know I put it up and then we don't get to it, you know. So anyway, that's what I've been doing, pulling out older stuff that you know I still love. So, um, I haven't been shopping except for what I have here, and this is from since before Christmas. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the time to share it with you and just say hi. Hi. Also, I realize I have a bunch of new subscribers, and I, it just tickles me to pieces. So, one of these um, days coming up, I'm going to do a video, um, like, introducing myself so to speak because I know I know there are a lot of you that are old friends and know me but there are still uh, quite a few of you who who I get comments from my older videos and um, who probably don't know me um, as you know as well or whatever so any anyway I'm gonna do a video like that and I'm um, just introducing myself and hoping you know that that satisfies some questions that um, new subscribers might have. Um, yes, yeah, so let me get into this haul. It's a mishmash of, you know, a little bit from everywhere. So the first thing, just to get out of, out of the way, is Michael's. I did go to Michael's after Christmas, and, um, you know, they're clearancing all the Martha Stewart stuff out. Um, so that's that's pretty great. So I picked up, the first time I went, I picked up this punch, and it creates this chain here. So this is going to be really fun to create borders with in my um, scrapbook pages and um, mixed media because it, it has that cool look to it um, for mixed media and stuff. So I picked, I chose that one, and then my son Logan had given me um, a gift card. So I decided to spend it at Michael's again. So I saw that Michael's was clearancing 
this out. And this is the Circle Edge Punch Starter Set. Remember these? These came out quite a while ago. Do you remember that? Where you put the you put the punch in the thing and it punches all around and it creates these big doilies. You know, and it's normally like forty dollars, thirty nine ninety nine. And when it came out, everybody went bananas and, and you know, purchased it because it's awesome. I never did because you know, it was $40. So, <laughs> however, it's down to $15, $14.99. So, I said, yes, please. So, I picked this up. Um, I was thrilled to find it. And then I chose another cartridge because some of the cartridges were $11.99. Some were $9.99. You know, like that. So, I picked up this cartridge. It makes this design. And it was $9.99. So for $25, you know, I got a great start. So I don't know if they're doing away with the Martha Stewart aisles or if they're just going to be putting in, um, you know, new pro products. I'm sorry, my glue gun's in the way here. Oh, man. I'm getting tangled. My chair's getting tangled up in the cord. <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay, crisis averted. <laughs> so, um, the next thing I'm going to share is something that I, I just received online. I went to ScrapPal.com, um, scrap and I use the, their scrappy tape. You know, this kind of double-sided tape. Um, it's very comparable to score tape. I I use this instead of score tape because it is, well, it's cheaper. And it's been my experience that it is um, just as effective, just as good, just as strong. I create all my mini albums using the scrappy tape. So um, I picked up the quarter inch and the half inch. So I was happy to get that. And then they also, they also have the um, Tim Holtz Distress Inks and Markers. So I decided to catch up on some of the new colors. So I picked up the Lucky Clover and Scrappy Scrap, Scrap Pal sells them for $4.75 and then if you order $25 or more you get free shipping so you can't beat it. So I got the Lucky Clover, I bought the Candied Apple and I just got these the other day so they're not even opened and the Carved Pumpkin and then, which is, you know, I'm an orange lover. <laughs> and, and then I picked up the card pumpkin in the distress pen and the lucky clover in the distress marker. Um, they didn't have the candied apple, so next time I put an order in with, like, um, Blue Moon or something, I'll get the distress marker for that. So that was one order. I was tickled to get that. Um, let's see. I had gone to Tuesday morning. This was quite a while ago. Quite a while ago? Yeah, you know, a few weeks ago. Um, and they had the project hanger from Cosmo Cricut. I just bought one. It was $2.99. And it's the hanger that has the clips, the alligator clips or whatever you call it, hanging off of it. And I realized, you know, we could we can do this ourselves. But I, I got one because I'm thinking to hang um, tags, you know, like those long... Um, Prima doll tags, you know, create some prima doll tags and make it seasonal, you know, and hang three of them across here or whatever. I just thought it was cool. So I bought that. Okay. Um, the, I also found this by Cosmo Cricut. Um, and I was happy to find this. This was like, well, I guess there was a couple of them there, but I just bought one. Um, you know, I'm trying to not purchase stuff just because it's a good price you know because I'm weighing the price of it towards the space that I have to keep it you know I mean if I were to buy let's say I bought three or four of those which would be an awesome deal but would it be worth purchasing three or four of those for the price versus the amount of space it's going to take me to store three or four of them and let's face it by the time I finish the first pack, I'm going to forget that I have three more packs to go through. You know what I mean. 
so yeah okay then um they had these and i was so tickled because my tuesday morning doesn't usually have um this sort of thing and as it is they only had one of each so i hit it right so i found the celebrate thickers from american crafts and these are i think these come from um I forgot which collection. I think it's the confetti collection from Crate Paper. I can't be sure. But anyway, I was tickled to find that. I bought the green, really pretty green thickers. I love the size of these. These are foam, and they are um, called Rockabye. And they're the foam letters, so you know they're going to stick well. I picked up these um, from Dear Lizzie. They're printed um, words. Again, $1.99. And I have the... A set of these already but I'm down to like a couple words left so um and these are awesome I love I love that I'd rather get a word for a title than fuss with stickers I'll be honest with you and then um then I found this one this is from Amy Tan and I forgot what um collection this comes from documentary I don't know I'm not going to try to guess because I just sound silly but anyway, I was happy to find these. I almost ordered these online. Glad I didn't. But like, there's a word that says meet, meet cute. So that would be cool to do a page about how Joe and I met. We met online, actually. And um, he lived in Fort Lauderdale. And anyway, do a layout of meet cute and the story of how we met. I thought that would be awesome. So, um, and then I found this one. Today is, um, I love the font. Look at the font of these words. These are, again, Amy Tan, $1.99, awesomeness. Um, this, I believe, is crepe paper. I don't know. It's from um, American Crafts, obviously. And from, oh, no, sorry. It's from the Amy Tan collection. I wish they said the, what collection it was. But this is come in handy for my regular scrapbooking. I was really excited to find these, and I felt bad because there was a girl who was in the other aisle, or further down the aisle, looking at stuff, and I knew she was headed my way, and I already had these in the cart, and I know she had count, gone to Tuesday morning to look for these, but I had purchased them first. You know, I felt bad because that's happened to me before. Um... And then they had a couple of these. I didn't take both of them because I thought at least I wanted her to find a couple of these. They had two of, and I didn't take them both because I wanted her to find something, you know. I felt bad. But, again, these are awesome, especially for um, Valentine's. And then these thickers are really cute. These are from Amy Tan. I love the font, but look, they're white, and they have gold, thin, narrow lines through them. They look like sketched lines. Awesomeness. So I picked those up. And then just like the stars one, I found the ones in hearts. So those are cute. Could use that for my Valentine's things. And then um, they had the Graphic 45 um, Sports. What's it called? All Sports or something. You know, they had the 8x8 pad. They had the 6x6 pad. They had the 12x12 pad. I almost purchased it. But then I realized, you know, I have the 8x8 pad, and I haven't even looked into it yet, so I didn't buy another one. I just bought the pockets and tags to go with it. You know, it was an awesome deal, and if I had worked, you know, on, my, on the other pad, if I had gotten into it, I would have thought, okay, I'll get another one. But I, hadn't even, I haven't even opened that other one. So that's what I mean. If, you know, I didn't, was the pro, the good deal of it worth the stored space that it would take for me to store another 12 by 12 pad? No, it wasn't. Not, not for that particular pad. So anyway, that's, I'm trying to reason that out. I, I have limited space and let's face it, limited funds, right? Okay, so I went to dollar, the Dollar Tree at some point in time and look what I found. Lace. A roll of lace. They had like seven rolls in a basket. I only picked up one because, you know, I have lace. But um, there's three yards on here for a dollar. And I know we can find this at Hobby Lobby, but if you do the math, 
even when Hobby Lobby has the half off price, this is a better deal. Yes, so I bought that. And then I bought a couple of these stickers because you can't see that. Hold on. And I bought these stickers. This is this was a Dollar Tree that's um, in the next town over, so I'm not there as often. But so I found these um, these here, and it was cool because my the Dollar Tree that I live near doesn't carry these things. So um, yeah, I was happy to find those stickers. Those will be cute for cards or cards. Who am I kidding? I don't make cards. Not unless, you know, very seldom do I make cards. Not unless it's a design team thing. <laughs> These will make cute scrapbook pages. How's that? Okay. Um, I bought a couple pieces of felt, um, gray and pink, because, you know, in the Target dollar spot bins, they have those really sweet clips with the um, arrow and then the feather on the back of the clip and the, it's made out of felt. And then it's got the three bling on the on the on the clothespin. Super cute, right? I was gonna buy them. I decided no, I'm not gonna buy them. I'm gonna buy some felt and try to do it myself, you know. So that's why I bought the felt. <laughs> so um, oh, and then another online purchase. This was before Christmas. Joe had given me a gift card you know, to use online for some purchases, and um, one of the purchases I did get was the Crazy Birds, the Tim Holtz Crazy Birds. I was so excited. I believe I got this from Scra um, Joann's. I can't be sure. I can't be sure, but I, it was a good price. It was less than $20, so that was a good price. I'm really excited about those. Okay, again, at Michael's, um, you know, the other week, a couple weeks ago, when they had the um, Hot Buy paper pads for $5.99, all the new Hot Buy paper pads that, came, that are out, yeah, my Michael's, that week, they didn't put that paper out. On Sunday, the following week, whenever they went off sale, that's when they, <laughs> that's when they started stacking the new paper. I was so, I, I was kind of pissed. I thought, that's not, that's not right. <laughs> so anyway, I realized that they had the um, documentary collection by American Crafts, and I was so thrilled. And I wasn't going to get it, and I went back a couple of times and looked at it and stuff. And I finally, I used a half-off coupon, so it did cost me $10, but I thought, you know, it's worth it to me because... My Michaels only put out like four of them, and I have all the, you know, a lot of the embellishments for this because I have this 6x6 six six pad from your scrapbook supply. So, for me it was worth it. I spent the 10 bucks, even though probably next week it'll be 6 bucks. But, um, I love this paper collection. And, you know, it was worth it. It was worth it for me to spend the extra few dollars and not wait for it to go on sale like the hot buys do. So, yeah, I bought it. My Michaels makes me crazy. <laughs> you know, they don't put out the new paper till it's not on sale. And, you know, it does. it's so ridiculous because nobody buys it when it's not on sale. Well, I do. <laughs> anyway, um, I also found these things. I'm still using the gift card that my son had given me. And I bought, um, these were all on sale for 99 cents. And this is like a, a rhinestone glittered octopus. I bought a couple of those, I think. Look at the rhinestone studded crab. And I think these will go really sweet. There's another, whoops, sorry. Another octopus. I think these will go really cute on um, mini albums. You know, the beachy mini albums that I create. There's a little whale. That's cute. Um, this would be really sweet for the um, mini album I do on the cruise that Joe and I took. Um, this one also, the little anchor. So I was happy to find these and I bought another whale just because he was cute. So I was happy to find those. That was a good deal. I mean, I can even put them on a chain and wear them. Um, this is from Target, these like canvas type ornaments. And I'm going to 
like put lace all around one of them and create like a little Valentine's ornament type deal. So that was that was cool. Um, the dollar fifty um, stamps that I chose uh, was a baby fills our hearts with love, and I and I really like the font on this. Um, two of our kids are expecting. Um, my son Spencer, his wife, is expecting a little boy in March, and Joe's daughter Kayla is expecting a little boy in March or April. So, um, more grandchildren on the way. N neither one of them live in Florida. <laughs> so, that kind of sucks. But And then I picked up the whale one. Really cute. And the mason jar one, of course. And I know we all have a lot of mason jars, but this one, the size is different, right? It's kind of wide and shorter, so that that's cool. And then I picked up in the... Dollar fifty bin. I also picked up this tassel. I'm gonna clip it to my pocketbook. Really cute. They sell a tassel almost exactly like this on clearance for four dollars at Target. Um, then in the tar Target dollar spot, I picked up these adhesive vinyl labels. I think these will be good, you know, to add to a scrapbook page, add additional papers, or um, you know, sequined pockets, what do you call it, glitter pockets or whatever. So I picked up a couple of those along with some Valentine's um, baggies, along with the mason jar wooden pieces. I picked up a couple of these. Can you see that? A couple of those wooden hearts and arrows. Um, a couple of those. I picked up a pack of these. There's two in the pack and these little felt hearts. Those will go really cute. I, There are a couple of people who thought of me this holiday season. And thank you so much, Louisa and Tasha and Miss um, Cooper's Coop and um, Linda, um, Linda Lepatka. Thank you so much. Your card was beautiful. And um, yeah, I'd like to make the time to do a little something for my old friends. Um, I used a coupon to get the washi tape that everybody's loving with the pink and teal and gold accents. And then this, these glitter type chunky glitters, this one was on clearance for, whoops, it's golden red. See, it was on clearance for $1.49 at Michael's. And this one was on clearance for like $79, the silver and I have glitter, but I don't have this chunky glitter, so that was cool. Um, this was like 30 cents at Target. And I got the puffy hearts. And then this was like 49 cents at Michael's. I don't know if it was like from last year or what, but 49 cents. These are really cute. And then I bought this bag and the Target dollar spot. It was $3. I love this. I should have bought two of them. But, um, you know, Joe and I each have a little basket in our bathroom. His holds his shaving stuff and whatever, and mine holds makeup. So I thought, and they look kind of kind of beachy. I could put a starfish or something over here. But um, I thought that would be cool to, we could both get the same basket. Um, I also, this is from your scrapbook supply, and this is like before Christmas I ordered this and I realized Michaels now carries this paper collection hello love however I bought it when Rhonda had it on sale and 30% off 30 or 20 I forgot but it was really cheap it was like $12 with 20% off of your order or maybe it was 30% off your order I'm sorry I can't remember it was less than $10 so, it's the crepe paper, Hello Love. I I really love it. It's so cute, the colors and the page papers. Michaels has it right now. It's one of their hot buy paper pads. So, if you think you might like it, go check it out. Um, yeah, you'll get it for cheaper than what I got it for. <coughs> um, and I got the cardboard ac uh, chipboard accents, adhesive accents to go with. Cute, yes, yes. Yeah, gold foil accents. I got the um, ephemera pack. 
this is what comes in it super cute I got the stickers super cute I wonder why it's looking like it's backwards on my camera anyway um, got those and then I also picked up the uh, another pack of the wonder collection by Crate Paper um, stickers because I did purchase that paper pad and then I got this banner see this is what it looks like at at uh, Target and there's so many pieces I'm gonna I keep saying it and I haven't done it yet but I'd love to create a BG type banner for in our house or and I'd like to take three of these and create a banner for my grandson Max and then at one time I had picked up this set it, they were half off at Hobby Lobby I like the um, the shape of that star and the uh, shape of that heart they're a little wonky what do you call that Fo folk um like a that folk i forgot that font anyway really cute really cute okay so i think that's it i think i think that concludes my haul for this point in time <laughs> so anyway thank you so much for watching and um Yes, uh, hopefully now things, you know, holidays are over and life is getting back to normal and this and that. Um, you know, hopefully I have more time to come in here. My sister is coming down at the end of the month, so um, I'll be busy then, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. I have some projects to share and whatnot, so. Mwah. Bye-bye, and hugs to you, Lydia. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about you constantly, girly girl. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.